What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Ari and today I'm going to be showing you the five keys, five most essential things that you need to have in your product descriptions in order to increase your conversions. Now conversion optimization is absolutely crucial, especially with the rising cost of Facebook ads. You need to be able to get the most out of your traffic. With that being said, we're going to hop right into it and not waste any time on this video so that you can implement these steps right away. So let's go. All right, guys, so we are in my computer, a little bit blinded, but uh, but as you can see, we're going to be discussing the five keys to an effective product description to increase conversions instantly. Now, when I say instantly, of course, you will need to test some of these things out and tweak them according to your store, but these are things that have helped me increase my conversion rates, uh, not only on my brand, but even on my dropshipping stores. So make sure that you're paying attention, and of course, if you do get some value out of this video, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. But anyways, we're going to be looking at a lot of examples here today of really good stores and really bad stores. And But before I get into it, of course, if you don't know how I found these stores, what I did is I used my IP p.ms shopify which is just this website right here how you get here is you go on google and then you type my ip.ms shopify it takes you to this website right here and you can actually just browse around these are the top shopify stores and from these stores you can actually get a ton of good ideas there's a bunch of drop shipping stores in in here once you start getting to like the fifth page uh, and so on but but these are, of course, some of the most popular ones. You, you see Gymshark, Fashion Nova, ColourPop, these huge, huge stores. Um, and then the second way that I want to show you is using this tool called AdSwiper. Now, this tool is 100% free. And yes, I did learn about this tool through my friend Gabriel's video. Of course, Gabriel's always dropping that heat. And he showed in one of his videos this tool that I thought was amazing. And one of the most amazing things about it is that it's absolutely free. So I spent some time here finding some ads that were successful and analyzing their product pages but also some ads that were really unsuccessful in analyzing their product pages as well. So I can show you some examples. And this is really important to do, guys, because you don't want to mimic a store that's not doing good. You know, that's that's basically a easy way to just continuously keep failing. So the first thing that you need to understand is you need to have a clean and concise store when it comes to 2019. Now, depending on your product, eye-catching stuff is not that bad. Uh, but a lot of people just go completely overboard with spammy apps and sales copy. Now, let me show you an example of this. I found this store right here uh, with, of course, and this store had a very unsuccessful ad. And the reason why their ad was so un unsuccessful is because it was not, is because they're not pushing more budget into it. And the reason why is because it's probably not making them any money. And if you see the store, this is literally like five seconds into the store, not even like three seconds into the store. I already have all of these pop-ups, this spin to win, which is, it's super played out. Now, of course you got the, the cookies. That's fine. It's another spin to win over here. Now you got these like recently bought thing over here. You know, you got the sticky card, which that's not necessarily a bad thing. And I don't know, I just really don't like that they have so many spammy things. Uh, this landing page has so much potential if they just would tone it down on that stuff. And another thing that I have here written out is make sure that you're using a good color palette. And the reason why I say that, guys, is because this store, you know, they, they got every single color in the book right here. They got like every color in the rainbow. They got pink up here, black up here, red. They got green, yellow, more red, like a purple over here. This just doesn't look good, guys. This makes you look like a really unprofessional page. And nowadays, people like clean things. They like minimalist looks, or at least things that make sense and are congruent, right? So this is a good example of what a bad page looks like. Um, now let me show you the complete opposite, a page that's really successful. This ad I found, of course, through AdSwiper, and it had over a million views. It's the cycling vest, and guys, by the way, don't copy any of these stores, because this product, it's probably not gonna work for you. This store's already dominating it. Um, but look at this is super clean. This is they're drop shipping this product and they got everything that they need. It's super concise. There's literally zero pop ups. As soon as you get here, you're like, oh, okay, let me read about this product. And that's exactly what works nowadays, guys. You have to just make sure that you're not spamming the customer with just like, buy this, buy this. Look at all the people that bought this already. Look at all this stuff. 
make it concise and clean, congruent, and it's really gonna go a long way. Now here's another store that I found that just is not doing it right. This had a very unsuccessful ad. And of course, part of it is the product. Like this is kind of a weird product. Uh, and the other thing is like, look at it, it's, our, it's so outdated. How can you expect to really make money with this? This is still like Christmas themed. It's got colors all over the place. Like, it's just not good. I do not like it. It has a lot of potential, though. Um, you know, they got their reviews and stuff like that, which I'll get to in a second. But besides that, it's way too much going on, way too spammy and unappealing. And trust me, having a site like this will make your customer will make your customers scared. And you don't wanna scare your customer, guys. If you have to tell them like, hey, trust me, trust me, this is a good product, trust me, they're gonna start not trusting you. Like, that's just how it goes. It's like basic psychology, especially nowadays, where there's been so many people that have gotten scammed by stores just like this. People are starting to recognize these patterns. So you have to kind of break the pattern and go with a very clean, simple look and professional look. Now, the second thing is a hook and benefit, guys. If you don't have a hook and benefit in your product description, then it's gonna be hard to really grab somebody's attention right away. And that's the thing, guys. You have to keep the customer interested from when they click on your ad, which I'll make another separate video about you know, how to hook people on your ad. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see something like that. But you have to hook them in your product description as well. Well, this is what's going to get them to persuade. This is what's going to persuade the customer to continue to read your description, which is where you sell them with the benefits, right? Um, so let's look at some examples here. So of course, as you can see, this bad example that I showed you—no offenses if this, if this is your store, by the way. Um, there's no hook. Like I don't really. This this is all stuff that's super irrelevant to the actual product itself. It's just offer, offer, offer. Very irrelevant stuff that you know people don't want to read. But look at this, for example, this body wellness posture corrector. Now this ad had 70 million views, which is just insane. Obviously they've done multiple, multiple seven figures with this product. I wouldn't recommend you test this product though. It's very overdone. But as you can see, it's very clean. Like we, like we said, there's not many pop-ups besides, you know, the, that pop-up. But right away, why do I need this? This is a hook. Right away, people are going to start like, you know, poor posture can be detrimental to your health. These are things that people are gonna be like, oh, okay, well, let me read more about this. Maybe I didn't even know it was bad for my health or, you know, something along those lines. You know, this cycling thing, until now, the only equipment that could help see a biker was small, low intensity red taillights. Like, right away, until now, blah, blah, blah. So that hooks somebody, especially somebody who's a biker, right? Now, let's look at another example here. Uh, this is a, a site called Daily Steals. This is one of the most popular Shopify stores, actually. Uh, and they have, they're basically a general store, so it's actually pretty cool. They don't even have any sort of, they don't even, like when you arrive at the site, they don't even have any sort of description until you scroll down. Uh, but right away, the, the flash drive is the fastest and simplest way to free up space for your iPhone, iPad, etc., etc. So this is actually a pretty cool product. I never even thought about that, like a flash drive for a, an iPhone. That's pretty cool. Um, that's actually really, really cool. Wow, I, I kind of like this product. I might even buy it. But 50 bucks, oh my God, that's an expensive product. Uh, but you can see they, they have... They have a hook right away and then benefits, and after they talk about the benefits, they start talking about all these technical specs that only the, the people who are really knowledgeable about these types of products would read. I would, like me, I wouldn't even read that stuff, honestly. I, I would have just bought it from, you know, knowing that this is for an iPhone and iPad. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. You don't want to lead with the technical specs or the features of the product. That's going to bore your customer and they're going to leave. You want to hook them right away, grab their attention, make them want to read the description, and then mention the features like at the bottom or something. Most people even skip that stuff and just go straight into the reviews. Uh, so just, you know, keep that in mind. And you can see this, this site has done the same thing. They just really, really sell you this, you know, this signal vest thing, and then they start talking about the features. And even when they talk about the features, they do it in a way that's like, they're they're bolding basically the main point of the feature, and then diving into the details so that you don't have to read the whole thing, right? Um, this is really good. I really like what they're doing with this. Um, and by the way, guys, like I said earlier, if you didn't catch that, I found all of these things with AdSwiper. This is an uh, this is a tool that I learned about from my friend Gabriel. I didn't come up with this. I didn't take any credit. I didn't, you know, I'm not stealing anything. This is I, I, he literally showed it, and I thought it was a great tool, so I thought I'd show you guys. 
um, for the purpose of this video. Now the next thing of course guys are pictures, picture reviews. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people running ads to a to a product page with no reviews. Now I don't know if people are just lazy to do it or they don't have the money for you know a proper review app. But guys, if you don't have product reviews, man, you're really taking an L. As you can see, this product has a bunch of really solid reviews. This product has a ton of really good product reviews. This one right here, this is another really, really awesome product page that I'll talk about in a little bit. This one has a ton of good reviews, guys. And of course, if you see, all of these sites are basically using the Looks app. The Looks app is by far my personal favorite review app. I've been using it for almost years at this point. Uh, and if you see, I actually pulled up here a, um, a magazine article from Inc. Magazine. I'll link it in the description if you want to read it. Uh, but it basically said that research shows that 91% of people regular regularly or occasionally read online reviews and 84% trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. That's pretty amazing. So guys, if you don't have a review app, make sure you get one. Um, and here's the thing guys, I actually talked to Looks like a little bit ago, I think it was like a month ago, and they were able to give me a 30 day extended trial. They have regularly like a 14 day free trial, but they actually gave me personally a 30 day free trial so that I could share with my audience. Of course it is an affiliate link, like I'm not trying to hide anything here, but an extended trial benefits you greatly, especially if you're just starting. And like I said, I use the Looks Review app in every single one of my stores and I always have because it's really easy to use, it's not too expensive, and of course, it actually doesn't take up too much space in your site so that it still loads up pretty quickly. I know that sounds like an ad, but I promise you it's not. I just really like this app, link in the description, 30 day free trial, only way to get it. But anyways guys, the next point that I wanna make is to not use traditional trust badges. Now this might sound a little bit weird because I've been talking about how you gotta build trust and stuff with your customer, but if you can recall what I said from the beginning or what I said in my last video, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do that, um, but I said that customers are starting to recognize the pattern of people that are running scammy businesses. So, so for example, with Body Wellness, you know, they're not using any sort of trust badge right here. They don't have any in the product page. And you'll see the same thing with this product page. It's just very clean and concise. But here is a product that was also being, that also was running ads uh, without, without success. The ads had like no views or anything. So they basically were failing with this product. But look at right away, guaranteed safe checkout, like super big. Obviously guys, this is not gonna make somebody feel safe. If you show me this, I'm right away gonna think, this guy's trying to scam me, you know? <laughs> like this guy, this is a little bit sketchy. But here's the thing, but here's the thing, it's not that trust badges are not a good thing, it's that these types of trust badges are bad. Traditional trust badges are bad. You have to be different and creative. And this is where it's something like this, and this is where something like this comes into play. You can actually use trust badges kind of like this, free worldwide shipping, easy return, money back guarantee. This is exactly, almost identical to what I use on my brand right now. And the way that you actually add things like these is by hiring a developer. You can literally go on fiverr.com and get a developer to do this for you. It'll cost you maybe like 40 bucks, which can be expensive, but but it's a one-time thing and then you never have to pay for an app or anything like that ever again and it looks super clean. Just give them an example of a site that you wanna replicate and they will do it for you. Trust me, that's what I did uh, and that's what I recommend you guys to do as well. So make sure that you get creative, use different trust badges, don't do exactly what the rest of the competition is doing, um, especially the traditional trust badges. That's a no-no at this point. Now guys, the final and last thing that I wanna talk about is pictures or instructions to illustrate the product and potentially even a guarantee. I always add guarantees in my product pages just as like a way to build trust, like a money back guarantee or linking to your refund policy or something like that. Uh, but also using pictures to illustrate what the product does. As you as you see, all of these all of these have pictures in the description because it's very enticing. Um, it's really, really appealing, and you know it just makes you want to buy it more. It makes you get a good idea of what the product is like, and this is what really, and this kind of goes hand in hand with product reviews. So if you have, th that's a really good combination to have. As you can see, all of these sites are using pictures like almost right away that look very clean and just really give you a good idea of the product. Um, 
This is the only one that doesn't have a picture right away, but they do include a picture at the bottom to, like I said, give you a good instruction of how to use the product. Now, if you see some of these sites, they're actually using like a GIF, but you have to be able to use a GIF right, okay? Because for example, this site, it just looks really ugly. It looks like a bad GIF. It's like, you know, it's just all over the place, all these weird colors. Whereas, you know, something like this, it's very clean. It's like, you know, it tells you what the product does or, or how it can be adjusted, but it's not, you know, super weird looking. And how you make a GIF is actually you go on Giphy.com. It's free. Um, and yeah, you can just make your own. This also works really well for email marketing and just all sorts of things. So make sure you give this a try. And like I said, a guarantee, like some sort of money back guarantee, like 30 day money back or a warranty. I really like to include warranties in my description, like 12 month warranty or something like that. Because if you think about it, if the product breaks on them and you have to send them a new one, that doesn't cost you as much as them returning it or doing a chargeback. So that's a really good thing to implement in your campaigns. Now guys, if you made it this far in the video, man, I salute you and I, and I love that you made it all the way until the end because that really proves to me that you are an action taker and you really int and you really want to learn and you know that's just amazing that's exactly how I am but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video I hope it didn't get too lengthy for you I know I talked a lot but I really really wanted to dive deep into this topic after my last video since you guys seem to really really enjoy me talking about why simple is better in dropshipping nowadays but with that being said guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave me a comment give me a suggestion of course make sure you you subscribe to the channel with notifications on the family is consistently growing which is just amazing we just passed 44,000 subscribers and of course if you like this particular video make sure you give it a thumbs up that makes the video do a little bit better which helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it but with that being said guys I'll see you in the next video peace out Magic.